hello friends today we will uh, see that how we can experimentally prove diffraction so today's discussion is diffraction so all of you know what is diffraction diffraction is nothing but the bending of light around the soft corners or spreading of light in the geometrical shadow region and all of you know what is the conditions of the diffraction the condition of the diffraction is the size of the aperture that is a should be very less than or equal to lambda that is the wavelength of the light used so now what are the apparatus required here to prove diffraction at home the apparatus the first one is i am i have taken a laser you see this is a key ring which is actually a laser I have chosen here. You can see the light over here. This is laser. So first one is laser, and I have chosen a DVD player. You see, this is a DVD player. So second one is a DVD player, and uh, or CD. You can say this is a CD, and uh, here you see. i have taken a strands of hair and attached it by using a cello tape so strands of hair hair strands and the fourth one is cello tape so what we are going to do we have to take it like this and we have to prepare a very narrow slit in between you can do it by using a blade also if uh, you will take two blades and just uh, by using a cello tape you just prepare a thin slit in between so what we will do now we will see the pattern of diffraction that is we know that the intensity at the center will be maximum and gradually the intensity goes on decreasing so you take this one and uh, you just apply the like this you just Uh, you just uh, just focus the laser which is a monochromatic light over it and you can see the pattern all of you can see here the pattern that we are getting here so i have just taken the cd and uh, with that cd only i have, I have uh, done this and with the strands of hair you see the pattern the center one is uh, having the maximum maximum intensity of light then it gradually goes on decreasing okay and let me so okay you can see here as you can see in a dark room the intensity pattern is very distinctly visible you can see here uh, and uh, you can also note down this one very clearly so friends this is all about the diffraction experiment you can do it easily at home and uh, see uh, the patterns of the diffraction of various varying intensity thank you everyone